So this smartphone costs less than $200 and it's still pretty good. Let's find out. Hey guys, Thunder E here. And I know I haven't done a video in a while, but you can understand why. Uh, I'm back here with a new device that I think you will love because it really cuts down to the core, especially of what's going on today. Now, this device retails for starting around $180 and of course it goes up in price depending on what variant you're getting because it comes with either six gigs of ram or uh eight gigabytes of ram now this redmi note 9 pro max is quite interesting for its price point it looks more expensive first of all it looks like something that you would pay more money for it comes with a 6.67 inch display 1080p by 2400 uh it also has a fingerprint sensor on the side by the power button which is nice it is fast it is responsive it works really well now under the hood there you've got a snapdragon 720 processor it's a little older processor but still a good processor and especially if you're spending this amount of money you shouldn't be worried about what you're getting in here but performance is fast and snappy as you scroll through you look around within this device uh, you can see how fast and smooth it works and it does a really good job so i like that i like that with you now you can get as i mentioned the six or or 8 gigabyte variant with either 64 gigabytes of RAM or 128 and you've got micro SD storage so with all that there I'm gonna ask okay I like to game what about gaming how does it actually function on a device like this pretty smooth now you're not gonna max out graphical settings on things like PUBG but you're playing PUBG you can play still play it at you know high levels it's smooth and it runs really well it runs well runs with out any hiccups and it feels comfortable to play if you're playing call of duty mobile it's the same thing now in terms of temperatures you're going okay it must have a lot of heat 97 degrees it's better than the one plus eight pro which <laughs> ran up to like a hundred and like five so I i'm liking where this device stands right now now when it comes to audio it's a good audio it also has a headphone jack as well so that's actually not bad um and you know, you've got a bottom firing speaker as well now this charges via usb type c and it's got a 5020 milliamp battery massive so which means you can spend time gaming using this device and you will have no issues because you've got a big battery which charges by the way up to 50 percent in 30 30 minutes with a 33 watt charger that comes in the box so again that's dope i mean i like that it has all these cool features now adding to that you've got a 64 megapixel megapixel camera at the back 8 megapixel ultra wide you've got a depth sensor as well uh, so it gives you quite a bit in terms of photo functionality and that's actually pretty cool because at this price range you're expecting just horrible images and images come out well there's an ai uh functionality built into it this is something that huawei has tried to take the feature three two one go sorry this is something that xiaomi has tried to take its features from its uh, high-end phones down all the way into the redmi line here so that's actually pretty cool uh you can take photos 64 64 megapixels in portrait as well uh also video there's nighttime photos it goes on and as you can see they're good again less than two hundred dollars so that to me is actually quite key i think overall i do like the packaging and i like what it brings to the table especially for those who are looking to cut uh, and save costs now speaking of other things you can add to this now this is not sponsor i wanted to kind of throw this in here because i felt it paired quite well i'm talking about the soundcore spirit dots now a lot of you asked me to review this and it was great to actually pair this with a device that doesn't cost that much because also these are budget true wireless buds that also give you some really great performance so the soundcore spirit dot uh, have a bunch of really cool features uh first of all it's a charging case uses columns with usb type c it's got a lot of bass in there as well so giving you some nice sound overall the auto quality has been really good it's a bit bassy but i like it you're paying about 79 bucks for this i think it might be even slightly less but check the prices in the description um and it gives you a lot of really good sound again they are sweat resistant so of course you allow you to work out they fit pretty well in your ears uh, ipx uh, 
seven rating. Now you've got a an hour charge. You've got an hour use with ten minute charge. So that functionality is built in there. Five point five hours, you know, with use with the earbuds and up to sixteen hours of play time altogether. Uh, touch controls, double tap to play and pause. I like it because it's just portable, simple, and it works well together. So if you're trying to save costs. Um, and you know you're getting like a, a device like this with the Redmi Note, Note uh, 9 Pro Max, then you can get of course something like the Soundcore. I think they work well. Now the microphone is not that great on the Soundcore, but it's it's passable enough for your phone calls. That's something I would like to see improve, but. I really like it and I think a lot of people will too. Overall, I think this is a really great pairing between both of them. I really like the Redmi Note 9 uh, Pro Max. It gives you a lot. Great battery life, 5,000 milliamps, right? You've got solid cameras for under $200, actually for under $500, bucks. let's just be real here. Um, you've also got great performance while gaming. You know, you've got a 720 processor in here. I think overall, most people will like this package and you, I. Definitely, if you want to pick up something that's under $200 or 200 bucks, the 9 Pro Max from Redmi is the way to go. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know, guys. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay safe, and always enjoy entertainment.